so coming to the experience automation framework explanation okay so let i uh, start interviewer asking them explain your automation framework now your answer should be following this line so in my project we are used selenium tool using java programming language and in our project we are used a data driven framework by using the page object model it is nothing but a pom design pattern with page factory dependence and after that coming to the page object model pattern we are followed that yeah, as per page object model we have maintain a class for every web page separately and each web page has separate class and the class holds the functionality of the particular web page and it will separates the each class separately for individual test also coming to the packages we are separated a packages we have separated packages one is a base package second one is a pages package third one is a test package test is nothing but a test cases package and utility package now all the web pages related classes comes under the pages packages and all the test related classes coming under the test case packages and all the utilities like actions and waits and screenshots these all are coming under utility package and like uh, coming to the so these are the packages we are separated for test and utility and base and pages and after that coming to my like uh, coming to my how we are followed each and every class mainly here we are separated a base class here we are separated a base class in base package mainly what is this base class in java we can convert it as a base class dot java so mainly this base class was deals the all the functionalities of all the pages like mainly it will capture it the class responsible for the like uh, loading the configurations we can say like initialization of web driver we can say and initialization of implicit wait we can say and extend reports and also creating the object for files and file input stream which is responsible for the pointing towards the file from the data should be read data should be read we are following this type of base class mainly we are seeing that base class like web driver like the setup method web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup driver equal to new chrome driver or driver equal to new firefox driver it will initializing the web driver and we are following the page classes like login page we are separating separate class home page we are separating separate class these class pages classes are deals with the web elements of entire the page and we are following the test cases classes each and every test case we are following the separate class coming to the utility classes utility classes we are storing the like uh, handles the functionality like it will deals the action classes initializations and select classes initializations and screenshots initializations and as well as excel sheet initializations in util package it will use entire framework entire framework we can use this utility classes and the reason behind the utility class is mainly to achieve the code reusability so multiple times we are using this data multiple times we are using the screenshots so screenshots is very easy thing we to throughout project we are following the screenshot so we for code reusability purpose we are creating a utility class and coming to the screenshots folder screenshots is the folder why we are maintaining the screenshot means when we are captured the like failed test cases we are separating like we are giving the path it was sending to the screenshot folders with dot png format and we are keeping the test data we are keeping the test data into excel sheet it will forming a dot xl sx format extension by using this uh, excel sheets we are handling the data driven testing data driven testing mainly we can achieve this data driven testing and mainly we can handling this excel sheet using this apache pyjar okay and coming to the test ng why we are using this test ng means why because test ng giving a good execution report and for mainly annotation purpose we are using test ng and assertions purpose we are using test ng and grouping purpose we are using test ng and parallel execution purpose we are using test ng 
and there is a reason we are using testing there is a dot xml format it will easily we can go through the parallel testing and cross browsing testing and grouping testing and like run as a suit wise also and we are followed a maven as a build management tool like why we are using this maven as a build management tool means it is easily adding the dependencies purpose in palm.xml file we can easily add the dependencies no third party jars will involve and we are used version like uh, like version control tool we are used a git as a repository to store the all test scripts after completion of our test we will say like uh, sending to the git and we can storing purpose we are used that version control tool as git and coming to we are used a jenkins by using ci cd tools like uh, jenkins was the continuous integration continuous deployment purpose we are executed test cases on like daily basis or else we can see nightly schedule basis like as per client requirement based on the client requirement we are for execute the schedule based so we are added a this jenkins the mainly the jenkins used to send the results to the peers as well at a time like uh, any time at anywhere what we are scheduled that time and there finally we are followed a extend reports for extend reports reports we are used for reporting purpose we are using this extend reports it generate the beautiful html report we use this extend reports for maintaining logs and for maintaining the uh, like a uh, uh, screenshots failed screenshots and maintaining the overall failed reports and pass reports this extent reports giving the good html response to our and easily we can capture the all failed one and all password and all skipped one also okay this is my framework so this framework we are followed thank you for giving this chance to explain my framework yeah so idi manam experience wise ఫ్రేమ్వర్క్ ని ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయాల్సిన పద్ధతి సో ఇక్కడ మనం ఏం ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసినాం అంటే మనం వాడిన టూల్ ఏంటి వాడిన లైక్ టూల్ ఏంటి వాడిన ఫ్రేమ్వర్క్ ఏంటి అప్రోచ్ ఏంటి ఇక్కడ నేను వాడిన టూల్ సెలీనియం అన్నాను అండ్ నేను వాడిన ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ జావా అన్నాను అండ్ నేను వాడిన ఫ్రేమ్వర్క్ టెస్ట్ ఇంజి అన్నాను నేను వాడిన డిజైన్ ప్యాటర్న్ పేజ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ మోడల్ అన్నాను అండ్ నేను రిపోర్ట్స్ కోసం వాడింది ఎక్స్టెంట్ రిపోర్ట్స్ నేను డేటా డ్రివెన్ టెస్టింగ్ కోసం వాడింది లైక్ డేటా డ్రివెన్ టెస్టింగ్ కోసం వాడింది ఎక్సెల్ సీట్స్ వాడాను అన్నాను అండ్ ఇది డేటా కోసం కూడా అవుతుందన్నాను నేను ప్రతి ఒక్కదాన్ని ఒకవేళ నాకు లాగిన్లో కానీ కొత్తవి యాడ్ అయిందనుకో 